lovelies and welcome back to my channel. Welcome to a, another vlog. I'm so excited for today's video. First things first, I went to the gym and that is the first time I've gone to the gym in, I'd say about three weeks. Bradley basically, it's all Bradley's fault. No, he started his new job and we usually, we used to go at like 6.30, like as soon as it opened. But with his new job being a bit further away, it just, we wouldn't have any time at the gym if we carried on going at that time. So we just stopped. And then, because I'm so used to us going together, like we don't even do the same workouts or anything like that. But because I'm used to, sorry, I'm gonna put my fan on. I really hope this isn't loud. I'll probably just talk louder, but I'm hot. Like I've just done my makeup and it's like sweating off. Probably shouldn't have worn makeup today, but I was just feeling like, yeah, you know, I do my makeup, la la la, but it is like 30 degree heat in the UK and I do not know how to deal with it. So <laughs> I've got my fan. So yeah, it kind of stopped me going to the gym. And then I, I think I'm just so used to going with Bradley that I was like, oh, what am I gonna do? Like, I can't go by myself. And then I was like, I can go by myself. So I booked in to go because you have to book. I think this is the last week though that you can book and then the week after we can just go whenever, which is kind of nice because I feel like sometimes it's a bit of pressure when you book because you're like, oh my God, I'm gonna be late. I'm gonna miss my slot. Whereas when you don't book the gym, you can just sort of go whenever you want. And I kind of like that. So I'm glad that they're bringing that back. But yeah, I went today for the first time and I just feel so good. And then I was thinking, why was I even scared to go? Because it's not like me and Bradley do the same things anyway. I was just in my own little world doing my thing so I felt really good for that and then another thing I'm feeling good for is the weather it is hot like so hot today which is so lovely um, and me and Bradley are actually having a date night tonight he's taking me on a little picnic to the beach which obviously you guys are going to come along with he was like do you want to go on a date with me I was like okay <laughs> like we lived together but it was like I don't know it just felt really nice and I was like okay so I thought I'd look presentable for it but I'm literally sweating off everything I've tried to like straighten my hair but you know when it's like so humid outside it's just gone puffy so I might put it in a ponytail we'll see but it's just not it's not styling right today so just bear with bear with I've also got a cold glass of lemonade this is my new favorite drink I mean I had this like it's, I, I think lemonade is always my favorite soft drink I usually just drink water and then sometimes I'll treat myself to like an apple juice or a lemonade but lemonade is like my favorite summer drink if you have it with loads of ice and a cup of lemon oh my god it's just it's so refreshing so I've been sipping on this while I've been getting ready and I'm really excited to spend the day together. Um, I've also got house updates. I've literally just shut the door now to some delivery men that were dropping off some new furniture, which is literally downstairs in its boxes. So I thought I could show you guys that. Um, if you've watched my previous vlogs, you will know that we are changing up our living room and our home. Like we've done it like a slow process, but I think um, this week we've got a lot of deliveries, like the sofa's coming, we've got the dining table and chairs, um, a coffee table, like everything like that is coming. So it's really exciting. So they're all downstairs now. Um, I'm tempted to open the boxes, however, it is so hot. So I just think I'm gonna sweat off my whole makeup. So I might do it tomorrow instead. Or tonight, I'm not sure yet. I just feel like it's just too boiling. I've got my little fan, which is like my best friend. <sighs> and it's been saving me. But I just feel like it's so boiling and I feel like opening boxes and stuff. I probably should have done it before I done my makeup. But, you know, it's fine. So yeah, I'm really excited to spend the day together. Me and Bradley are obviously going to take you guys along with us. Bradley said he wants to have a swim in the sea later. Did I tell you we're going to the beach? Did I say that? We're going to the beach. Um, and we're going to have a picnic on the beach, which is exciting. So, yeah. Exciting, exciting date night. And we're going to go to the shop and get some food. Ooh, and get some foodie food and stuff like that for it. So, looking forward to it. Anyway, let's go downstairs. Check up on the doggies. Oh, look at my hair. It's just, it's just not right today. It's just not right, but it's fine. Sorry, if you can hear my glass, that is it. But... As we come downstairs, we have a box there, and then we've got four boxes here, and then a box there, and a little Luna and Lottie. Um, so yeah, you can see there's loads of deliveries. I wanna show you guys up close. I have to always climb over this. This is our makeshift gate so the doggies don't go upstairs. Um, let me put this down, then I can show you. 
So I'm going to take my sandals off just because I feel like they clink a little bit um, and I'm not going outside yet. So these are the gorgeous dining chairs that we went for. Um, they're actually a little bit lighter than this. I saw them in person, hence why I was like, oh my god, I need them. They're from Dunelm and they are called Kendall Chair in the shade Mink Velvet. I sat on it in the store and honestly, it's so comfortable. We were allowed to, by the way. I didn't just sit because of like COVID and stuff. Yeah, everyone was like sitting on all the chairs and stuff. So we were allowed to. But yeah, I'm excited. So we've got four of these. Um, if you've watched my previous vlog, you will know our previous dining set had six chairs. But with me and Bradley just living here, and when we host, we usually just host like barbecues and stuff like that in the garden. So we don't need six chairs and it takes up a lot of room. So we thought, let's just get four. And I'm really happy about it because it's just saving space and it looks so not much nicer. Oh, I couldn't do it then. I'm going to put you upside down. Um, so this is the little side table. I also saw this in Dunelm. It's gold and it's got a marble top, which looks really lovely. And then the dining table we went for. By the way, I love how they've got pictures on here. Makes it so much more helpful. We went for the Kendall dining table. Um, so it's got a lovely marble top and then gold legs. So this is our previous situation. Sorry, I haven't tidied up, you know, an accurate depiction of what my daily life is like. So our sofa is getting changed very soon and I'm so excited about it. And then over here, so as you can see, our dining table is gone. It's very echoey here. We're gonna get rid of all of this crap um, I'm gonna get a new lamp and stuff like that just over time but I thought we could just like before rushing I feel like one thing I've learned with moving don't rush your interior because I feel like I got a lot of inspo from the flat we were at beforehand and it was very much like greys and whites and then as soon as we moved in probably like a month or two later I was like hmm, I'm kind of over the grey and white do you know what I mean so don't rush it, just take your time. So we've got the dining set here. So we're gonna put that up and then just see what lamp and stuff we think will look lovely. Yeah, and then the fireplace is there, which we love. This obviously won't be there. That's just been placed here for now. We've got a little Luna there. So yeah, I'm very excited. I've also washed these blankets for us to take to the beach later. So we've got something to sit on, which is nice. These are actually like outdoor blankets. So they're quite thick um, and comfortable. So we'll take this when we go to the beach. We've got some family coming around over the weekend. So I washed up these cushion covers so I can put on the swing and stuff outside. Let me show you guys outside. Bradley weeded everything here yesterday. So this is all clear. It was literally full of weeds. And then all the cushions and stuff are underneath here. Um, we've got some remover to get rid of this paint. So yeah, it's all coming together, which is exciting. Bradley just needs to mow the lawn, which he's hopefully doing soon. So yeah, slowly coming together and I'm getting hotter and hotter by the minute. I think I'm gonna open one of these chairs to show you guys what it looks like. Just remembered, we've also got our picnic basket in the garage. So we're gonna take that later as well. Okay, so this is the color of it. You can see it's actually, it's a lot lighter in person than it is on the shop just to bear in mind it's a beautiful color literally exactly what we're after similar color to the sofa as well which is really exciting but as you can see it's partially assembled so i think i'm gonna put the fan in front of me and assemble it together i think we'll do one and then see how we feel but as long as i've got my fan with me i should be fine and i'm gonna put my hair up i've got a little scrunch in my hand so yeah it looks so easy to do i thought it was going to be a lot harder so i think we're just going to try let's do one and then see how i feel no pressure but yeah very exciting <laughs> I have just assembled one and I love it so much. 
the color of it is perfect it's such a beautiful material it's really easy to assemble so i'm going to do the others now and then put them all together i don't know how easy this is going to be but hopefully i can finish it all today and we'll have a lovely dining set i look out for you to soothe away the blues in your eyes degrees all day not a cloud in the sky yeah it just it started being cloudy and rainy <laughs> but as soon as Brandy got home i thought it was it was really sunny and literally as soon as you walked in and closed the door it was like thunder and lightning we were like oh my god and we're obviously going to the beach and Brandy was like it's fine we're gonna go anyway i was like okay then that's fine so we're going but away it's paying off but to be fair I swear I always turn the camera around at this point. The it. sky looks a lot bluer now, which makes us very happy. Um, so we don't have to hopefully worry about, is that the one that came to our house? No. Oh, that was a nice pin down by the way. Um, yeah, we hopefully don't have to be caught up in the rain. So we're just gonna go to the beach. I wanna have a swim. What, uh, what are we doing so about food? Are we eating before? Are we we'll bringing a Tesco's. pick? Tesco's. Okay, yeah. There's Tesco's by Pamela Square, isn't there? So I'm thinking we could go there. Yeah? There. There, yeah. Um, yeah. Get some foodie food? Yeah. What foodie food? Picnic bits. We've got the picnic basket in the back as well. Um, also, sorry about my hair. I actually haven't even looked at it since I put it up. I didn't even put it up for like fashion reasons or anything like that. I was hot and I've got two scrunchies in my hair because it couldn't hold my hair up because it was that it's heavy. Cool. So, sorts about this, guys. It just doesn't look very nice, but it's been boiling and just long hair in the heat is just not a vibe, is it? It's not. Um, I really struggle with it. Yeah. We also haven't taken the dogs because it's too hot. So, Bradley sent me this. So, we just need to be careful about dogs and their paws and how hot it is i know there's the sea luna hasn't even been in the sea yet mm. lottie's petrified of the sea lottie she, just doesn't like water she's petrified lottie, of a bath yeah lottie hates having a bath like, she it's won't like go to the toilet thing. if it's raining yeah it's just she hate, whereas luna's a little bit more like i don't really care um but anyway we just didn't take them because it's way too hot so we're not going to be too long a few hours Brady's gonna go in for a swim as well. We also left a really nice fan on for them, so it's gonna be lovely in the lounge. Yeah, we put our fan from our bedroom into the lounge just because it's a bit stuffy and we thought it's quite hot for dogs as well. So that's on while we're out. And it's not one that um it's got blades or anything, it's like a what's it called? It's like the Dyson one, isn't it? Yeah, look it's like a dupe for the Dyson. Um but anyway, 
we'll see you when we get to the beach. I'm so excited. Won't be long. Yeah. We have arrived at the beach. Um, we went to Tesco's before. Um, let me open this up. So this is our little basket. I'll link it down below. Um, it's literally from Amazon and we've put all of the food inside it. So we've got crackers, we've got bread, we've got sweets. Treat night for sure. Um, but it looks so cute. So we're gonna enjoy this. And then Bradley's gonna have a swim, aren't you? Yes. In the sea. Obviously, we're not at the beach anymore. We um, finished up. You had a nice swim, didn't you? I you did. enjoyed it. Yeah. And I saw his little head bobbling, which you would have seen. And then we were driving home, and then on our way home, as you can see, this very lovely lighting. Uh, I can't really see right now. Are you a bit blinded. Yeah, I've looked at the sun. Oh. We are watching the sunset. So, I wanted to show you. Oh, I'm zooming. <laughs> we are at Devil's Dyke. And this is the perfect place if you're from the Brighton area or you visit the Brighton area to go and watch it. I've just put the wipers on to clean, but it is beautiful, isn't it, Bradley? There's not one cloud. It could be in the whole sky, and it's covering the sun. I know. So turn but the engine off. It's still cute.
guys. So it's now Wednesday. Um, I last filmed yesterday when I was putting up the little side table, which is just poking out just here. And to be honest, I thought I'd have to assemble it, but I didn't. It just came ready made, so that was amazing. And then this morning, we got a really exciting delivery like the one I've been waiting for, which is our sofa. Our sofa is here. It does feel a little bit echoey in here at the moment because of our rug. Um, there's wooden floors. It's basically throughout the whole of the house, apart from the stairs and the landing, but everywhere else there's wooden floors in the house. So this room feels a little bit echoey. The rug was meant to be delivered yesterday, so I'm guessing and I'm hoping it's gonna be delivered today. Then I can show you. We just got a lovely white rug. It's like a faux fur one, beautiful. We had a, it's from the same brand we got the previous one, but that was in gray. So we thought obviously we're not really doing gray anymore. We got rid of that one and um, yeah, it just feels weird not having any like rug in here or anything. It makes such a difference. Even like the echo, it's so much better and it just makes it cozier. So I'm excited for that to come hopefully today and then I can show you guys it because oh, it just it looks so lovely but I'm sure you will want to see the sofa don't you I've just been working at my new dining table and it feels really nice also I don't think I'm a fan of um metal straws I'm so used to having glass straws I know that sounds really like posh they're only from Amazon but this has like a metal taste to it and I'm not a fan. So I'm gonna go in the kitchen and grab myself a glass straw and then enjoy my water. But first I wanna show you guys the front room because I know you're gonna like it. <laughs> so I'm here. Sorry about my hair. Honestly, this heat and my hair are just like, we don't get on. Are you ready? Da -da -da -da. So this is our new sofa. I'll pop a before video up now so you guys can see what it looked like before in case you are new um, or you just want a reminder of what the old sofa looked like. So I actually purchased this sofa from Sofa Club. This isn't sponsored. I'm a paying customer. We got the Chelsea sofa. It's called a double corner in the shade stone. And then I bought the footstool on top. The footstool is only £150. May I add, this is probably the most affordable sofa I've come across. It's been about six months I've been looking for a sofa and I finally found one that I love. I, I'm not gonna lie, I was a bit skeptical about the scatterback at first because I've always heard such bad things, but this is honestly the comfiest sofa I've ever had. So I am so pleased with it. I've got two cushions arriving today from Dunelm. They're just really lovely white ones. So I think they're gonna go there and there. And then for now, that's the accent cushion that I got from Primark. Um, it's a cover, but it's really lovely. If you watch my previous Primark haul, you would have seen this, but I really like it. We've got the side table here, um, and it just looks really lovely. It's all tying in really nicely. I love the colour. We've got this little basket here, which is from the range, um, and that's just to put the controls and stuff in. Um, I really want to get a knitted blanket to go like half off the footstool. So I'm going to look for that. But up close, I want to show you guys the material. Like, it feels so soft, but you can see the colour a bit better. Do you know what I mean? It's just so lovely. So, yeah, it honestly feels amazing. The quality is crazy. I can't believe... I think this sofa was £6.99. Um, it's just amazing. Honestly, it's so good. So, I'm so pleased with this. And then we've got a white rug, which is going to be here, which will make it all cosy. Hi, Lottie. And then it's slowly coming together. Obviously, it's not finished. It is not finished whatsoever. I'm going to be filming a like a whole lounge reveal video where I can show you guys everything because we want to change a lot, especially like loads of little things like ornaments and lamps and like loads of lamps like this one and stuff like that, as well as prints and everything. So we literally want to change the whole thing up. But the bulk furniture is here and it makes me so happy. So yeah, I'm really excited about that and I can't wait for the rug to hopefully come today if it doesn't then you'll have to wait until the reveal video or a vlog or something but yeah exciting and then the garden seeing as we're here um is a lot tidier now bradley cut the grass yesterday but i think it's looking a little bit mm, a bit yellow not too bad all the furniture and stuff cushions is under there but he weeded everything so it's really 
helped it all. There's our mini pool which I put my feet in. And so yeah, everything is all coming together nicely. So we've got our lovely table there. And um, these are just some cushions and stuff from the old sofa that I need to put away. The dog bed is under here. They like being underneath something by the way. I think they feel safe, I'm not sure, but they like it. So that's why they're like squidged in a table. And then my work stuff here, which is looking a bit messy, I'm sorry, but this isn't the reveal video. And I'm excited to get new prints, new chandeliers, new lamps, like new everything. So yeah, at least the bulk furniture is here, which makes me very happy. So I have just received a huge parcel from Dunelm. Um, I've also just made myself a iced coffee and I'm gonna have a protein bar. So yeah. This is very much needed for today. I haven't had my coffee yet and I'm literally like... Oh. I actually saw these um, in store in Dunelm. So as soon as I saw them, I took a picture of them and I went shopping with Bradley's sister and his mum and they were like, why don't you just buy them? And I was like, no, I'm gonna wait until I get my new sofa and then they can be fresh and they've literally come the same day, which is so exciting. So these are the ones I went for. I'll link them down below. They are called Keston Velvet and they were 14 pounds each. The good thing about these is they literally come like this. So it's not like a cover or anything like that. And they're really good ones to chop. So that's exciting. I just wanted to go really simple with the sofa. I literally want white and then um, the stone color that this is already. So yeah, I'm not sure. Do these go? Maybe they do, we'll see. This one, it was a cover from Primark. If I don't think it goes, then I'll shop online and look for one accent cushion just to go in the middle. But I kind of want to see what they look like. So let's look. Okay, I love them. I think they are literally the perfect thing. They're the perfect size. However, I think that one, I think these ones are more of an accent cushion than that one. Um, so I think I'm gonna change this one up. I think if this one was bigger, it would look better but because it's a bit smaller I don't know let me know in the comments down below what you think but I think even a third one of this would look nice or an accent I'm not sure please can you let me know in the comments down below because um I'd love to know your opinions but I think these are beautiful cushions like absolutely stunning I love the fringe I love the whole style of them and I like the white and the beige. So really pleased with them. Oh my God, yay. So now I wanna order like a really nice throw to go on the sofa, like a knitted one, but like, I want it to go like half off the sofa. I feel like that would look lovely. And then my rug should be coming today soon, hopefully. So I'm now sitting on the sofa. Oops. There's honestly so much room here. It's great. I am loving life at the moment. There's a little Luna here. And then a Lottie here. They are loving it. I've put a blanket underneath Luna because her paws can get really muddy. And then Lottie is probably the cleanest dog you will ever meet. So she is absolutely fine there. But no sign of the rug today. And my hair's getting bigger and bigger by the day. <laughs> like, honestly, oh, it's just so frizzy. And I spent ages straightening it today. Like, ages. And it's just... <laughs> I'm like, slick it down. Nope, doesn't want to. Anyway, no rug yet. I'm, I'm not hopeful, if I'm honest. Did you have a little shake? Did you? <laughs> it said um, delivery day yesterday. <laughs> so, no idea where my rug is. I'm trying to track it, but it won't let me track it. It just says, like, when it's going to be delivered. But it's gone past that day, so I'm a bit confused. So hopefully it will get delivered today, because that'll be really nice. Um, but I am going to leave you guys and my frizzy hair here and I will catch up with you guys in my next video. So I have got a savers haul that I need to film because I got some really lovely things in savers the other day. So I need to film that haul. So I think that'll be an extra upload. And then home vlogs, um, I do want to paint in here. I don't think I've said this before. I do want to paint this room, do some little DIY bits and bobs as well which is exciting so yeah that's all to come we've got more updates i also want to change my beauty room i've got loads to do in my beauty room so i want to change loads of stuff in there as well but i want to say a massive thank you all for watching this video um i've popped links in the description box down below to 
majority of the stuff in the video if there's anything i've missed just let me know in the comments um but i told you guys where my table sofa picnic basket and things like that are from and then i've linked some bits down below as well i love you guys so much thank you for watching and all of your support honestly it means the world to me i love how you're as excited as i am for like my house updates and changing things in my home it makes me so excited but yeah thank you i love you all so much and hopefully i'll see you guys on wednesday for my next video